again everyone, a very warm welcome back uh, to another mixed media tutorial with me Lisa Taggart. I'm calling this picture uh, Renewal and I did see something similar on Facebook um, a few months ago and I thought I would have a go at the idea and do my own version with Lavinia stamps. Um, and if you're interested, it has a little bit of uh, spiritual significance for me as well. Today's the 3rd of June and in the Northern Hemisphere we have a full moon, a very powerful full moon. And uh, it signifies the end of a cycle. And the reason I've called the picture renewal is that we get other chances. We get to start afresh. And if, like me, you've been going through some tough times, you know that uh, you can start again. And there is hope and there's lots to look forward to in this new cycle. The project did take a long time, so there's lots of sped up video. Apologies for that. Uh, but before we get started, as usual, Let's have a look at some of the materials used. So to begin with, uh, I have my Stabilo Pastel uh, pencils and I also have my chalk sticks and there's a link for these below in the description box. These are extra soft and very blendable and beautiful pigmented colour. I'm using a couple of types of inks, elements first of all and I've got on this occasion dark denim, blue at all. Uh, Sahara, Russet Orange, Paprika, Violet Chalk and Della Blue. I'm also using colours in Versifying Claire, Bluebell, Nocturne, Morning Mist, Purple Delight, Medieval Blue, and finally Fantasia. Now this is optional, it's just really for the colours and the opacity. Also using Posca pens in mint and red. I have my sparkle pens in silver, gold, red and orange. I have gel pens in yellow and white, the Signo All Broad. I've got um, a water-based clean colour Zigmarca in a brick beige, beige and a black Stabilo All Pencil. Also diamond stickles and in terms of the tools, I've got my brushes, my makeup brushes and this is an electric eraser. I've also got the putty eraser for removing pastel. Now this isn't for colour, this is just to draw around for a circle. This is a circle template for the moon. I've got a water brush and I've also got um, a blade for cutting out the circle. I'm using the masking sheets and also the watercolour card uh, for today's project with some copy paper as well. For the stamps we've got the beautiful Zamira and we've also got Spring Trees, Tree of Hope, a little branch from the foliage set and tree branch. So if you want to convert these into a project that looks something along these lines, just keep on watching. I also want to wish my lovely mum a happy birthday. So today's tutorial is all about masking. So we're using these masking sheets and what I've done to begin with is I've taken one of the sheets, which is A4. I've used this um, as a circle template really. I've drawn around it and I've taken my um, blade and I've cut a circle. Now it's not a perfect circle, don't worry about that. Um, and so it lines up because it isn't a perfect circle. I have indicated there where it fits in and uh, put the arrows there so I can pop it back in. I'm using the watercolour card A4 size and I'm going to first of all remove the backing sheet and which is the plastic part and I'm going to sti stick the sticky uh, part down carefully on top of the A4 sheet and smooth that out. Next I'm going to take out my lovely Elements ink uh, colours and making sure that the sheet is uh, stuck down I'm going to uh, start to do the inside of the circle. Now I am using the Elements uh, ink 
inks for the inside of the circle because they are uh, reactive with water and you'll see later on that I'm going to use water on top of them. Um, you could use the elements uh, to do the inking on the outside of the circle. Uh, you'll see that I will be using mostly uh, the Versifying Claire inks for the outside and the reason I do that is because of the colours first of all but also um, the opacity of the permanent colour but I do use a mixture and you'll see that later on when I remove the masking sheet. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a range of colours and I'm very roughly I suppose um, blending the colours together don't worry about how rough it looks at this stage, both inside the circle and out of the circle. It will look quite rough, but of course, being mixed media, it is only the first layer and we'll be putting pastels on, on top to blend it out. In terms of the inside of the circle, I want it to be slightly paler in colour to the blending of the ink on the outside. So that's another reason for using the element ink pads for this part um, so that it's slightly paler than the colour on the outside.
in the top there with more stars and also the bottom I've used the sparkle pens the pastel to create the orbs with the white pen and just added a variety of dots I've also taken the sparkle pens to add little crosses on top of some of the little white dots with uh, the um, the gold and the orange and I just added dots here and there and sorry the camera didn't uh, pick up on the bottom half when I was doing that. So now the sparkle's been added and it's been mounted onto black and white card. There you have it. Um, she, the centre uh, figure, is linked to the trees and the earth. And you see that she's uh, saying goodbye to the full moon. And uh, this is hopefully symbolic of her attachment to the earth and renewal and all, all of that. Um, thank you so much for those of you who have donated under thanks um, icon and also for those of you who have subscribed. I really do appreciate it. Hit the like button, leave me a comment as always. And uh, until next time, of course, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.